This is the $1,200 Fiat Special Tool. Fiat Multi-Air Actuator Tool. If you've got a Fiat Multi-Air, which is the 1.4 16 valve or the turbo, they both are supposed to have this multi-air actuator thing on top of the head. So this whole assembly right here. And what this assembly does is allow some of the valves to be hydraulically controlled and infinitely adjusted by the computer. So it's technologically cool and possibly performance cool, but it makes doing a head gasket suddenly more expensive because now you've got to buy this ridiculously expensive tool. And what it does, if you look down in here, you can see that we've got springs and like lifters right here going off to the side. And so we need to compress those springs in order to be able to unbolt this guy here and remove it from the head. And that's where our special tool comes in. Let's see what you get for $1,200. Let's unwrap this thing. All right, so what you get are four of these guys, which are not badly made. They've got a nice little guide pin on there and everything. And this, and these guys attach to this backing bar thing here. And you can kind of see this is what goes over your valve and between the spring and everything. And this is what compresses, compresses that spring. And then we've got a nice little sort of soft plastic piece here, or that will help to prevent you from marring your engine. You've also got some more little dowel pins here that help align this guy onto the back there. All right, then these four guys are actually to attach this thing down onto the engine. So they go in like that, and there's four slots in the back there. Let's sort of assemble this guy. All right, so on the back side here, you can see the little dowel pins. You can see the associated, there's two holes on the back side of this. So these would align up like so and slot together. And you've got this guy going in the back. And you can see there's a nice little recess on here for the bolt head to go in. And that's basically how it gets assembled. I'll tighten everything down and then we'll try this on the actual engine. All right, and there it is, fully assembled. All right, so on the actual engine, if you're doing this procedure, you've got to remove the valve cover, which I've already done here. And I found that you basically had to remove the whole engine to do that. <laughs> and then you have to disconnect the this oil temperature sensor, which is right here. There's a little connector right here. Disconnect this guy. Just a little yellow tab pulls out and you can see the temperature sensor runs up into the actual valve assembly up here. I found it easy to use a screwdriver to pull that little yellow tab out. And then with your thumb, you can depress the connector. Simultaneously use the screwdriver on the other end of the connector to pull up a little tab. And then you also have to release the connector from the mounting point, which looking on the back side of this mount, there is just a little sort of push in connector here. And you can just use a pair of pliers really easily and do this. And to press both sides of the connector and release this. And then we also wanna release the connectors for the actual valve body actuators. And those are the same style connector. You pull the little yellow tab out, depress the connector, and then release the tab on the other side of the connector. And you do that for all four actuators. All right, so now you can see all four of those are off and disconnected. Now there's nothing connected to our little valve assembly. We should be able to put our special tool on there, unbolt it and remove it from the cylinder head. And then on our valve assembly, there's four bolts here that need to be removed. These are bolts that hold on the valve cover. I've just put mine back into their holes where they go. So we'll remove these guys, take them out. And then this is where our valve assembly tool or special tool attaches is at these four points and then this guy here your little fuel rail blocker that gets removed as well all right and then we can attach our special tool you can see the sort of alignment of this thing 
So we've got these two little backing bars on the back. Those will go back here on the back side. And then we've got our little openings here for our valves. Those go right on the valves up front here and push those in, which will slowly, will slowly lock them in by screwing these in. So this goes on the back like that. Get this little out of the way. Sits down on there like that. And that's kind of what's, that's why we have this nice little plastic piece down here is so that we don't mar up our gasket surface on the valve cover. So put that guy back here. So nice little tool, well thought out tool. And then the bolts that come with the tool now go on. I'm going to loosely thread these on by hand a little bit, get everything aligned and then we'll tighten stuff down. And then we tighten these bolts down to nine Newton meters or 80 inch pounds. All right, now we can see how this works. These, these screws actually sort of work backwards, whereas you turn them counterclockwise, it tightens down on the valve. You turn them clockwise and it loosens up on the valve. And we want to tighten these guys down until these valves are fully seated on the back here. You can see one of the valves is already seated just because of the rotation of the engine, which is this guy right here. There's one that's fully seated. And here's one that's not fully seated, where you can see the spring on that one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these things down. This is a 17 millimeter head on these bolts. And you can also see that when the valve is fully seated, this thing here is basically fully seated. These two pieces come together completely for the most part. All right, the valves are fully seated. Now we can unbolt this valve actuator assembly from the head. When you're looking at this valve assembly, there are a total of nine bolts on the top of this thing that hold this thing on. We've got one there, one there, one there, one there, and one right there. And then on the bottom side, we've got one right there, one right here, nothing right there, another one right there, and then the final one right there. And there's a special order in which these have to be undone or loosened up in order to remove this assembly. The same way you would do with a cylinder head. And it's basically working from the inside out towards the ends of the assembly. And so your first one is this guy here. Your second one is this guy over here. Your third one is this guy over here. Your fourth, your fifth, your six over here, seven over here, eight over here on the bottom, and then nine over here on the top. All right, so number one right here. Oh, and this is like a T45 socket on here. So Torx head 45. If you don't have a good Torx head set, just get a full set. I'll put a link in the description to the one I'm using. I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen all the bolts first and then remove them all. All right, with all these bolts removed, I should be able to remove this actuator, this valve actuator assembly from the head here. And so they say not to invert it. Don't turn it upside down because oil is gonna leak out of this thing. There's oil in it right now, supposedly. And if you do that, this is one of the things you read about is that you're gonna have to try and, when you go to restart the engine, it's gonna take, you're gonna have to crank it and crank it and crank it in order to fill this guy here with oil. So don't turn it upside down. This, so a little. All right, so here's a look at the actual camshaft body cylinder head thing that we've got going on here. I 
basically you can see our valves and our valve springs down there on the bottom. We've got two valves. This is intake valves per cylinder. The exhaust valves are over here and they're actuated by the actual lobes on the camshaft. Here's a good angle here. And so this one you can actually see down below there, the exhaust valves. And so kind of interesting setup here. It's not something I've seen before. And we've got our gasket for that valve actuator assembly, this little rubber guy here. That, actually it's a metal, got a nice metal little gasket there. But they say to remove this thing and replace this. Just throw this thing away and get a new one. And then here is our valve actuator assembly. You leave the tool attached and everything until you go to reassemble it. You see the little lifters are sort of attached to the side of this thing. And down on the bottom you can kind of get a look at the little valve actuators. All right, so that's it for this video. I am on my way to replacing a head gasket. Look for that in other videos if you're interested in that job. And I just thought this valve assembly thing was interesting and the price of this special tool, ridiculous. That is the dealer price, this $1,200, but there are less expensive options, although they're still ridiculous. I'll put a link to the, where I got this in the description of the video as well as links to some other ones, the dealer one, etc. All that will be in the description of this video. So thanks for watching. Keep on wrenching your own projects and good luck if you've got a Fiat like this.